Hello viewers, welcome to make to explore channel. In our upcoming videos about DIY projects, we are planning to try out some image processing, machine learning and computer vision based projects on Raspberry Pi 4. Vision based projects demands more computational power. So to achieve that on Raspberry Pi, we need to do some tuning and tweaking of default Raspberry Pi settings, which will give us best optimized performance from Pi. Therefore, in this short tutorial, we are going to see how to configure Raspberry Pi 4 vision based projects. Let's get started. OK, here we will do following main settings in Raspberry Pi configuration. First, we will update eSquare PROM settings of bootloader. Since with a fresh and clean Raspbian operating system, the last check is the eSquare PROM software version. The Raspberry Pi 3 had all the operating software on the SD card. The Raspberry Pi 4, on the other hand, is also partially booted from two eSquare PROMs. These eSquare PROMs are programmed after PCB assembly in the factory. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has recently released new and improved software for these eProms. This nothing to do with OpenCV, but all the more with heat dissipation. On Raspberry Pi forums, users have reported that, in some vision-based applications, the heat of the CPU drops from 65 degrees centigrade to 48 degrees centigrade, simply by updating the EEPROM's contents. And, as we know, a low CPU temperature will increase your Pi's lifespan. Then the next step is to increase your swap space. OpenCV needs a lot of memory to compile. The latest versions want to see a minimum of 6.5 GBs of memory before building some applications. Also, if you are planning to install OpenCV from its source by building and making, then you must increase swap memory minimum to 2 GBs. After that, next config is increase GPU memory. Raspberry Pi do not have dedicated physical GPU card. The physical RAM chip of Raspberry Pi is used both by the CPU and the GPU. On a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, by default 64 MB allocated for the GPU. On other hand, the Raspberry Pi 4 has a 76 MB GPU memory size. It can be somewhat small for vision-based projects, it is better to change this to a 128 MBs. To increase the amount of memory for the GPU, we can use the Raspberry Config menu. Or from GUI or from Terminal window. Finally, you can disable unnecessary Linux services to reduce the CPU overhead. But you must know what services is required by your particular project. You should disable those services only which are not having any dependencies to your project and main system services. Ok, now let's see how we can do all these above. With demonstration. One more important thing I forgot to mention that. When you run vision-based projects on any single board computer, processor usage goes at its peak. Hence, core temperature also increases in significant amount. So, it is recommended that we should use some sort of cooling system for Raspberry Pi-like devices in order to avoid throttling of processor due to high core temperatures. So, you can use heat sink and small fans combination like this to make Raspberry Pi less heating. And, as we have mentioned earlier, a low CPU temperature will increase your Pi's lifespan. Let's head over to Raspberry Pi Desktop. OK. Here is the fresh installed Raspbian Desktop environment on our Raspberry Pi 4. Let's open Terminal. We will do some initial configurations first. Here, let me show you which Raspberry Pi model we are using for this demo. So, we are using Raspberry Pi 4 model, revision B. 1.1. OK, now let's check about operating system version, which is Raspbian Buster version 10. And the Linux kernel version is 5.10.63, which is 32 bit. OK, next, let's see hardware details. Let's check RAM and swap memory by using htop command. Here you can see RAM sizes of 2 gigabytes and swap memory sizes. 100 MBs. So, we should need more swap memory for proper execution of computer vision applications. Let's increase swap memory. Go to terminal again, and let's first check how much maximum swap memory we can allocate. For that, use this command. Here in this file, you can see 
Maximum swap size is 2048. Means 2 GB. You can increase this limit if you want. But we will keep this much only. Now, we know that we can allocate up to 2 GB swap memory. Let's increase it. For that, you have to open another file. As shown here. Here in this file, you can see, the current value of swap is 100, means, 100 MB. As we have seen it in, H top command log. Now, let's increase it up to 2 GB. So we have to enter, number 2048. Here. Okay. Then next, save the changes made to this file. By pressing Y, after, Ctrl X OK. But this will not change the size of swap immediately. We need to reboot the system, in order to changes to take effect. Let's do that. After reboot, let's check swap memory. Open terminal, and, enter command H top. Here you can see, this is showing, the swap size is successfully changed to, 2 GB. Ok, now, let's update, and, upgrade the operating system. But before that, make sure, that you have connected to, internet. Then, do sudo update, and, upgrade. We have already updated our system during first boot. You may require some more time, if there are any updates available for your system. Let's move forward, and, update e -square prom. For that, make sure Raspberry Pi is connected to the, internet. Then, open terminal, and, run this command. We have already updated our board. Hence it is showing up to date. If yours is not updated yet, then, with this command, system will try to update it. After update completed, you should reboot the system. Then next, another important configuration is, updating GPU memory of Raspberry Pi. You can change this from GUI, as well as from, the command line. Let's see. Open Raspi config menu from here. Also, open the terminal. You can choose any method. Here on performance tab. You will get option of GPU memory. By default it will be 76 MBs, or, something like that. Change it to 128 MBs. Maximum. Then click OK. System will ask for reboot. Do it. So, in this way, we have completed this tutorial. These are Pi configuration and settings are very important for our next projects. We are also planning some more R Pi 4 OpenCV based applications. Like, face mask detection, face recognition security system, media pipe applications, etc. Stay tuned for more updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating this tutorial, feel free to ping us on Telegram, or, you can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.